Hey guys, Russ here with Got A Minute Video. I'm just in actually Saskatoon, uh, Alberta, Canada. Uh, ready for a level one and two workshop tomorrow. Beautiful night, as you can see the blue sky behind me. So I thought I would grab a coffee and head out to a park that is pretty close to my hotel. I, I got to thinking and I was playing music and it was kind of interesting because this is a, a soundtrack that I actually, I found, I guess not that long ago. And this was the first music, I guess, if you will, that I used to meditate to. And I remember I bought it as a CD. So those of you who remember CDs, right? <laughs> I bought it at Ascended Books in Edmonton. Uh, it was, it was, I remember it so clearly it was purple and it's kind of a, I guess a spacey, a bit of sort of an etherical, uh, theme to it. And I played that over and over and over again. And I would often play it as I walked the, the parks and the green areas in my hometown of Red Deer. And it was really neat because as I'm out here, sipping my coffee, listening to the same music I listened at the very beginning, walking around and under these, these trees. And I was reminded once again of the power and the value of simplicity. What I find is so often when we step into our spiritual journey, whatever that looks like, it often starts out very simple. And then as we quote unquote mature or our experience grows, we add pieces to it. And that's great. I find what can happen, and I know what happens to me. I find what can happen is we start to add piece after piece after piece after piece, and that's really cool, but I think sometimes we forget that those pieces that we add on or accessories or enhancements to that very, very foundational and elegantly simple practice of nurturing a relationship between us and us, right? Nurturing a relationship between us and however you define source, right? God, universe, or Earl. And I know for me, in the beginning, that's all it was. And I, I guess I was going to say discovered, probably rediscovered is the most accurate word. I, I rediscovered that sitting underneath a tree, walking in the parks, listening to this spacey <laughs> meditation music trying to or not trying but doing this thing called meditation that i had no clue how you were supposed to do it right i just had a desire to experience something more it was just that simple that was it and i can remember so clearly sitting under the that big weeping willow tree in my backyard or walking down by the river or things like this before i knew anything right it was very very simple and it was very, very powerful, and it was very, very elegant. And sometimes, I'm speaking to myself here, as well as maybe some of you, <laughs> sometimes I think we forget that. Because it's almost like we lose our focus, because we, we've got all these cool complexities that we've added to the equation, and they're great. They're great. I've got this coffee, I drink mine black, but you could take this coffee and you could add flavored creamer, you could add creamer to it, you could add sugar to it, and you could add all, all these enhancements, but you gotta have the coffee first. And I find sometimes when we feel like, I don't know, things aren't working, or we don't have the, the depth of that aliveness that we felt maybe in the beginning, sometimes what it is, is we've kinda got distracted. We've got distracted or I don't know if confused is the right word, probably distracted is the best, with all these other things that we've added into it, which is great, which is great. But they enhance, they don't replace that very, very simple and yet powerful truth that in so many respects, and in maybe every respect, all we have to do is focus, spend time, appreciate a relationship between us and us, and uh, us and however you label the universe. It's really just that simple. Everything else, everything else is really an appendix to the book. Keep it simple. There's power in simplicity. All right, guys. Russ has got a minute video. Getting ready to teach Ricky level one and two tomorrow. See you on the web.